The Ground Proximity Warning System, GPWS, alerts the crew about terrain and vertical flight path dangers. The GPWS operates below 2,450 feet radio altitude. The GPWS does not alert the crew of flight toward vertically shear terrain. or of slow descents into unprepared terrain while configured for landing. The GPWS includes a GPWS control panel and below glide slope lights. Oral enunciations are broadcast on two overhead flight deck loudspeakers. The GPWS has seven ground proximity alerts. If the airplane barometric descent rate becomes large, the sink rate oral sounds continuously and the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Pull up. If the descent rate becomes dangerous, a whoop-whoop pull-up oral warning sounds and the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Terrain, terrain. If radio altitude decreases quickly, the terrain oral sounds two times and the red pull up words show on the attitude indicators. Pull up. If the condition is not corrected after terrain sounds, the whoop whoop pull up oral warning sounds and the red pull up words show on the attitude indicators. If barometric altitude decreases too much during the initial takeoff climb or during a go-around, the don't sink oral sounds continuously. The red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Too low terrain, too low terrain, too low terrain. The too low terrain oral sounds continuously when the airplane is below 1,000 feet radio altitude at high air speeds. The red pull up words show on the attitude indicators. Too low gear, too low gear, too low gear, too low gear. At low air speeds, the too low gear oral sounds continuously. If the airplane flies near the terrain with the landing gear up, the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators. Too low flaps, too low flaps, too low flaps, too low flaps. When the landing gear are down, but the flaps are not in the landing position, the red pull-up words show on the attitude indicators and the too low flaps oral sounds continuously. Glide slope, glide slope. Below glide slope alerts armed below 1,000 feet radio altitude with landing gear down. 
flight below an ILS glide slope causes continuous glide slope orals and the below glide slope lights to illuminate. At first, the oral sounds at one half the volume. Glide slope, glide slope, glide slope. Continued flight below glide slope changes the glide slope alerts to full volume spoken at a faster rate. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. The bank angle alert tells the crew of 35, 40, and 45 degree bank angles. Minimums. 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. During the final approach, a voice speaks minimums and radio altitudes. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. If wind shear conditions are sensed, a two-tone siren followed by wind shear sounds. The red wind shear word shows on the attitude indicators. The wind shear alert inhibits all other ground proximity alerts. A wind shear warning stays active until wind shear conditions are no longer sensed. Now let's look at the GPWS alerts that can be inhibited or canceled. Push the below glide slope light to cancel below glide slope alerts. Glide slope, glide slope. Cancel the glide slope alert. Glide slope. The below glide slope alerts cancel if you capture the glide slope. If a landing with less than landing flaps is necessary, use the ground proximity flap inhibit switch. To use, lift the switch guard and raise the switch. Inhibit the ground proximity flap alert. If a gear up or partial gear down landing is necessary, Use the ground proximity gear inhibit switch. To use, lift the guard and raise the switch. Inhibit the ground proximity gear alert. For pre-flight operations, Make sure that the ground proximity in-up light is not illuminated and the switch guards are closed. Momentarily push the system test switch to test the GPWS system. The below glide slope light and the in-up light illuminate. Pull up. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. The wind shear and pull up words show on the attitude indicators. The whoop whoop pull up and the wind shear orals sound. If you push and hold in the system test switch for more than 10 seconds, all oral alerts sound. The system test is inhibited from takeoff until above 1,000 feet radio altitude. Terrain, terrain. Pull up, pull up.
The Ground Proximity Warning System, GPWS, alerts the crew about terrain closure and descent below glide slope. The GPWS controls include a GPWS control panel and each pilot's EFIS control panel. The operation of these switches will be discussed later in this lesson. The system uses aircraft position as determined by GPS. The position is compared with internal terrain map data found in the GPWS. To show look ahead terrain data on the navigation display. Terrain more than 2,000 feet below your aircraft is not shown. Dotted green shows terrain immediately below your altitude to 2,000 feet below. Amber shows terrain from immediately below to 2,000 feet above your altitude. Red shows the terrain more than 2,000 feet above you and magenta color is shown when no terrain data is available. GPWS uses these patterns to show terrain data on the navigation display. These dotted colors become the terrain patterns you see. Caution! Terrain! Caution! Terrain! The dotted pattern becomes a solid amber when the computer calculates that you will hit the terrain within 40 to 60 seconds. An amber terrain alert shows on the navigation display and a voice alert sounds. Pull up. A solid red shows terrain when the computer calculates that you will hit the terrain within 20 to 30 seconds. Pull up shows on the attitude indicator, a red terrain shows on the navigation display, and a voice alert sounds. Pull up and climb immediately. Former GPWS systems do not know if your gear down descent is into an airport. Or some other area on the ground. Now, GPWS warns you of this problem with or without the gear down. When the aircraft descends below the terrain clearance floor. The terrain clearance floor, based on airports with concrete runways, is defined as shown here and can be modified for unusual airports. Too low. Terrain. If descent below the terrain clearance floor occurs, the oral alert, too low terrain, will sound and pull up will show on the attitude indicators. Normal maneuvers are well above the terrain clearance floor. These are the controls for GPWS. The EFIS control panel sets terrain range and display modes the same as it does for weather. The terrain switch turns on and off the look ahead terrain display on the navigation display. Weather and terrain data are not shown together on the same display. Set weather or terrain on the EFIS control and see the changes on the navigation display. When the pilots do not have the terrain mode set when the GPWS computer starts a terrain alert, Caution! Terrain! Caution! Terrain! The EFIS mode set is removed and the terrain mode and terrain alert show. 
In this example, weather is replaced with an active terrain alert. This is the GPWS system test button. When pushed, a series of oral and visual indications occur. Terrain fail and terrain test alerts show on the navigation displays. The terrain display test pattern shows on the navigation displays. Caution, terrain, caution, terrain. And the terrain caution alert shows with the terrain voice alert. Pull up and wind shear alerts illuminate. Glide float. Pull up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Glide slope. Pull up and wind shear oral alerts sound. And the below glide slope and GPWS inop lights illuminate. The test indications are shown above. If the test button is held for more than 10 seconds, the above indications occur, followed by any additional oral alerts that may be installed. The self-test is inhibited in flight. Now let's see some non-normal alerts. The Terrain Inhibit switch is on the GPWS control panel. If the Terrain Inhibit switch is set to the Inhibit position, the Terrain Inhibit shows on the navigation display and the Look Ahead Terrain alerts are not available. When the Terrain Fail shows on the navigation display, the Look Ahead Terrain operation of the GPWS is not available. The other modes of the GPWS remain normal. If the in-op light on the ground proximity panel illuminates, the GPWS computer has not received correct inputs or has failed. When the GPWS failure affects the look-ahead terrain operation, the terrain fail alert on the navigation display will also show with the in-op light. GPWS data compares its position with GPS or FMC position. If it becomes inaccurate, the terrain position shows on navigation display. If the GPS range should differ from radar range or EFAS range set, terrain range disagree or map terrain range disagree shows on the navigation display. These are the GPWS alerts. They are inhibited on takeoff for 20 seconds and below 30 feet radio altitude on landing.